And now for the showcase session. That's right. Uh, yeah, Cambridge.org is built Concrete 5. Yay! Uh, it's a pretty cool site. We uh, have chatted with these guys and got a, a little demo of how it works. And it's way more than we, uh, I don't know, have, have time to share uh, and perhaps brain power to communicate in this type of format. Uh, these guys have done some really cool stuff. Um, you know, jumping around, if you go back up to the top, it's a beautiful site first off, obviously. But uh, you go to About Us over on the right, towards the top. Yeah, there you go. You can go you can wander through there. Uh, so at its, at its I don't know, simplest, it's not the right word, but it's most traditional uh, in terms of implementing with Concrete 5, you know, it's it's a good looking site, and they've got an auto nav on the side, and they're thinking cleverly with templates and global areas in the footer, and, uh, you know, pages, and, and there you can see our little dashes in the URL structure. Yeah. yeah nice. Uh, and so that's basic, basic stuff, but then where it gets really pretty um, impressive is their catalog. So, yeah, here's their... Um, there is the future of publishing since 1584. That's uh, awesome. Oh, well. Uh, so this is like their complete catalog, and uh, the way they have built this is very impressive. I mean, they're using Solar for search, and then they're wrapping all the catalog through a single page that kind of pulls back stuff as they need it to handle with both internationalization and, and locale. Yeah. Yeah, so they, I mean, they they operate in a multitude of languages and, and regions and they're pulling back their entire product catalog through a single page so that you get the pretty URLs um, and then if you actually go to uh, they do the same thing with the detail of the uh, of the uh, book page as well and they've even gotten it so that uh, um, they've added functionality to Concrete 5 so that when you're actually rendering one of these pages and it's running through the single page if they need, on some books, if they need the ability to have something that is a little bit more customized for that book, they can, on the fly, transform that single page rendering of the page into an actual Concrete 5 page at one spot in the tree that you can then add blocks to. So they kind of have the best of both worlds of a purely database-driven site and a Concrete 5 site that you can you know, manage content on completely. Nice. Yeah, yeah, and I remember they're doing uh, locale-based content within a single page as well. They're right. not doing the two huge trees, you know, many, many, many huge trees with locales, but they've actually, well, only some of the content needs to be localized, and so they've built kind of uh, ways to switch that out within the page that are pretty impressive, and uh, and we're just scratching the surface. But yeah. Um, yeah, very smart developer. Very smart guys, been working on this for a long time, a enterprise support uh, customer, so um, we've had the pleasure of, uh, of learning about what they're doing and, uh, and checking it out. So uh, congrats to them for, for launching this particular section of it recently, and um, glad to see them using Concrete 5, and awesome to see people using Concrete 5 as, as really a, a powerful framework that has really nice built CMS into it, but like um, treating it as an application framework that you're going to spend some real time on. And, uh, and turn into the, the, the tool that you need, uh, open source is great. So that's that.